the problem? Maybe I'm wrong. Like I may, well, because so, so it depends. Thing I guess, about it but is just because the way that D and D rewards experience is based in in rules is written based solely on either milestone or killing monsters. So is, hold on, question. Answer. Is milestone even a thing? Rules as written. Yes. In the main three books. Yeah, I don't know yes. if they call it a variant rule, but it is a. It is. It is. In Do they the actually books. call it out? Yes. yes, I believe it is a variant rule. Yeah, but yes. I don't think they say milestone XP is give your players a level for hitting a certain point. I think that they say is give your players a bunch of XP for hitting a certain point, which is essentially quest XP. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's how they word it. Well, with most books, like right. I'm reading through Mad Mage because I'm eventually going to run that. And it literally says at the beginning of the chapter, it's like or at the beginning or the end of each chapter, it always says by this section of the dungeon, your character should be at this right, level right, right, right. or but your character should adventure. have enough XP to level. Up. Yeah, that's an adventure. Mm -hmm. The DMG and the player's handbook don't even word it that way. So like Milestone isn't even like or should I say the way everyone does milestone is not right. even it's technically not rules is written. <laughs> no, most people when they do milestone XP, it's more story driven achievements, basically. Right. Story Which is not moments. technically the thing. It's just weird. It's just like a weird like I don't know where the milestone XP like, oh, you hit a certain point. Here's a free level up. Like, I don't know where that even really came from and why everyone started agreeing on it. Like, I feel like it kind of came out of... I guess it probably came from the adventures. But, like... Probably. I don't know. It's weird. But everyone everyone has just agreed that it's a thing now. Even though it wasn't ever officially called out, to my knowledge. Unless it was called out in some, like, I don't know, some book or some some article or something. I bet, like, I'm, that's possible. I mean, I'm, I'm checking the DM... Oh, no, it's in the DMG. Milestones. Yeah, it's in the DMG. It said... So, but here's the thing. Read the paragraph, Isaiah, because I'm pretty sure what it says is not get a free level up. It says get a big chunk of XP for hitting certain points. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, what the distinction here is? Yeah. Because the way most people do it is, oh, you hit a milestone, ergo, you level up. Whereas with the DMG is saying, oh, you hit a milestone, here's 5,000 XP, not here's a level up. So even then, we're not even we're not even doing it that way that the DMG makes Right. It's like, where actually, the hell does this come from? There, so there is actually some cool shit in here. Uh, and like these, like it gives a few examples. So I'm reading the DMG right now. Uh-huh. And one of the cool things that it says you can substitute for like some minor milestone stuff, obviously. Magic items can regain their expended uses, or like a minor one. So like if you have like a, oh, yeah, a, yeah. a circle other, of blast other... thing, you can like recharge if you do something really cool. I actually right, really right, like other... that. I like that idea. Here's the thing though. Don't I feel like people do that narratively. Just like True, yes, but you know, so, like, oh you found the magic I literally did that in our in our game you did, not that long you ago. You did, yeah. So, but this, <laughs> oh, you got so, the magic item. Here's the thing. <laughs> so this is something that I'm very much in, in uh, something that I always push is even if it's assumed, there's a downside to codifying it. You know what I mean? True. Because there's those situations True. where first time GMs might not. not know to do that, right? They might not have that thought in their mind. And like they did this in Tasha's with the with flavoring your spells, right? It's a yes, minor thing, yeah. but first time GMs might not know that that's on the table. So right. because it's codified I, <laughs> and because it's on the table, they can know to implement it and make try to see if, if they could make things more interesting because of it. I feel yeah. like that kind of stuff, I feel like 5, 5e or, or d and I should say, not necessarily 5e. I feel like D&D &D is in a weird position where they feel like an obligation to to codify stuff like that because they're they tend to be everyone's first RPG like most people start with D&D &D. so ergo they feel like this need to be the RPG that teaches everyone how to do the RPG thing which is why they tend to do stuff like oh we should mention you can reflavor your spells you want even though everyone was kind of already doing it anyway they're just kind of putting it out there because they feel like they should which yeah you're, I mean you're right it's not necessarily bad I was just curious okay. I was, okay. I was just curious Oh, hold on there, Jethro. Um, okay. So at the, at the very bottom of the milestone, so it's actually, mm -hmm. it's not technically a milestone. It's its own thing. It's called level advancement without XP. 
It basically okay. says like, when you let the story of the campaign drive advancement, you award levels when adventurers accomplish significant goals in the campaign. Okay. Right. Okay, so it is called, all right, all right. See, that's what I wanted to know. All right, so it is called out somewhere. <laughs> it didn't just appear from the ether. Because I always wondered about that. And I, I, I probably did read that paragraph a long time ago and probably just forgot, to be honest.